Funding for the First Lady series is provided by Patreon supporters. To become a Patreon supporter, please click the link found in the description box below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more. Margaret Smith was born in Calvert County, Maryland on September 21, 1788. She was the daughter of Walter Smith, a prosperous Maryland planter and a veteran officer of the American Revolutionary War. While visiting her sister in Kentucky in 1809, she was introduced to Lieutenant Zachary Taylor, who was home on leave by Dr. Alexander Duke. Lieutenant Zachary Taylor, age 25, married Margaret Smith, age 21, on June 21, 1810, at the home of the bride's sister, Mrs. Mary Chu, near Louisville, Kentucky. A devout Episcopalian, Mrs. Taylor, prayed regularly for her soldier husband. There is a rumor that she promised God to give up the pleasures of society if her husband returned safely from serving in the Mexican-American War. Although she was reclusive while she lived at their Cypress Grove Plantation near Rodney in Jefferson County, Mississippi, there is no evidence to support this claim. The couple had six children together, four of which were daughters. One such daughter was Sarah Knox Taylor, who married the future Confederate States of America President Jefferson Davis in 1835. Jefferson Davis was a subordinate officer whom Sarah had met through her father at the end of the Black Hawk War. Sarah died of malaria in 1835, three months after her wedding day. With the rise in Zachary Taylor's political career, his wife Margaret Taylor literally prayed for his defeat, for she dreaded the personal consequences of his becoming president. By the time she became First Lady, the hardships of following her husband from fort to fort and the birth of several children had taken their toll. She remained in seclusion on the second floor of the executive mansion, leaving the duties of official hostess to her daughter, Mary Elizabeth Bliss. On July 4th, 1850, Zachary Taylor reportedly consumed copious amounts of raw fruit and iced milk while attending holiday celebrations during a fundraising event at the Under Construction Washington Monument. Over the course of several days, he became severely ill with an unknown digestive ailment. Fever ensued, and Taylor's chance of recovery was small. Despite treatment and hours of prayer by Margaret, Zachary Taylor died at 10.35 p.m. on July 9, 1850. He was 65 years old. The identity and source of Taylor's illness are the subject of historical speculation. Almost immediately after his death, rumors began to circulate that Zachary Taylor was poisoned by pro-slavery Southerners, and similar theories persisted into the 21st century. With the sudden death of President Zachary Taylor, Mrs. Taylor's health deteriorated rapidly. Margaret Taylor died two years later on August 14, 1852, in Pascaluga, Mississippi. She was buried next to her husband near Louisville, Kentucky.